Good morning to you, and we really want to get the word out because the lives of these animals are at stake. Uh, Long Beach Animal Care Services, they've always tried to not euthanize their animals, especially the last four years or so, but the Long Beach Post reporting because of this dire situation they are in, they may have to euthanize animals that would otherwise be adoptable. So uh, it's so important. They're completely overcrowded. As we get into some video and show you um, some of the the cases or the, the current situation of our, our local shelters, what we are hearing is that now Long Beach Animal Care Services wants to offer limited time incentive opportunities for critical adoptions. They realize the situation they have here at hand. Long Beach Mayor Rex Richardson says they had their highest adoption rate last year, placing nearly 2,000 animals into homes, but it's hard to keep up with the need. This dire situation began to unfold in February as a shelter, which is near Regional Park, if you're familiar with the area. They had so many animals beyond capacity, they had to keep dogs in the lobby, in offices, and in makeshift kennels. In March, it got even worse. They also had a homeless encampment sweep where they had to bring even more dogs in. And so they want to encourage the responsible, mindful adoption of animals. So take a look at the different events they have happening throughout April free adoption events uh, throughout the city. So they really want people to come down, adopt animals, adopt, don't shop, and longbeach.gov forward slash ACS. Again, longbeach.gov forward slash ACS for all the information if you are interested um, to get an animal for your family and bring them into a loving home. That's the latest for now. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting from here in Long Beach. I'll send it back to you.